So I've noticed a trend on social media with these progress bars. It's a very good tool to show people how long do they have for this video. They can easily see when the video is going to end, which keeps people watching longer. Now, how do you animate them or how can you make them very simply in your editing software? Let's do it. So maybe you're at this point of the video and you're still t thinking about what are you talking about? What are these progress bars? What do you mean exactly? Now, check out this sponsored clip that's coming up now and then you can very easily see where the progress bar is and how long is this sponsored clip gonna be. Have you ever tried to edit a document and you thought, shoot, it's a PDF, I can't edit it? Hmm, check this out. I've got this program over here called Wondershare PDF Element. It's a really powerful program. So let me just open this file. I found this IKEA catalog on the internet. It's a PDF file and you put it over here and usually you can't edit it, but there is so many things you can do with this program. You can convert it to different files. You can edit it, comment on it. You can highlight text over here. So let's highlight, for example, this text over here and then boom, it's, you know, whatever color you want to do. You can add shapes to it. Let's add this shape over here. So if you're commenting, for example, someone's work or something. But my favorite tool is this when we go to edit and then go to edit and add text. So now when I've pressed this down over here, everything in this PDF document becomes editable. This bathroom over here, no, no offense to Ikea. So what if we gonna add like another zero to there? But the coolest thing is you can also edit pictures. You can move them around, okay? It knows it's been over there. Or you can just rotate them, you know, make them bigger, make them smaller. Let's rotate this, for example. Right click, rotate left, rotate right. And this is just the basics of what this program can do. In general, it's an affordable all-in-one PDF document editor and viewer. It's available on Mac and Windows, and by clicking in the link in the description, you can get a 50% discount. Go check it out in the links below. So, let's make it for yourself so you would know how you can make it and, you know, get it done yourself. What you wanna do is open your editing software, which I'm using Premiere Pro. And if you haven't seen this video on the channel, this is the project for the 16 and 13 inch MacBook Pro over here. And um, I'm gonna show you how you can edit it over here because I have this, the same sponsored clip over here. You can easily see it's just rolling on the bottom over there. And it's, uh, you know, you can know how long it's left. But now there are a few ways how you can um, do this. You can add a, you know, bar on the bottom, top, or sometimes it kind of dissolves into a corner. I'm gonna show you how you can do that as well. What you want to do is, if it's easier for you, is to actually nest the clips that you're going to put the progress bar on. I haven't done it yet, so I'm gonna nest it over here. Let's make it sponsored clip over here. Then it's easier to see where it ends and starts. Okay, it's over here. I've got the progress project pin over there. So now I've already made this blue bar, but I'm going to delete it. So, you know, this is just the sponsored clip here now. I'm going to show you how you can do it on Premiere Pro, but you can use any software, you know, editing software. You can do similar things. You just, you know, see what I'm doing and you can just apply this into your editing software. So what I'll do is edit and a new item. That's right click on the project pin and we're going to go to column mat. So you're just gonna click okay because it's gonna create the same as your um, sequences at the moment. And then you just choose a color, okay? Let's choose something like, uh, we can go white or let's go complete clean, green. So I know it's not the nicest color. I would name it as well green. So it's not the nicest color, but okay, green. And then we're gonna drag it onto the timeline, make it all the way, okay? And you've got this whole screen and if you, you know, hide it, it's just covering the whole screen. Now, how do we make it that it's only, you know, certain thickness? What you want to search for is an effect. Let me just put the effects bar over here. Whoa, that was a bit too long. Let's make it a bit shorter. Uh, search for an effect called crop. Okay, there it is and just drag it onto that green over here. You drag it onto there. I'm gonna go to effects controls, clap, drag down, and you can see these over here. This is the crop effects control. We're gonna crop it from the top down and let's crop it down all the way until it's like 95%, maybe it's a little bit 97%. That's about a good thickness, I would say. Once we have done that, what we wanna do is 
click on this one and then make sure we're going to go all the way to the beginning of this clip okay this is the beginning and now we're going to click this toggle animation tool or like little button over there this is on the clip of the green color if you hear some kids crying it's because my kids are going mental downstairs we click on this position over here and then it's going to get create a keyframe and um, for the beginning of this little section over here and now we're going to go all the way to the end of the clip over here oh, i'm going to make sure we're still on this clip okay we're on the end and we're going to click another add or remove keyframe if we're going to click it it's going to add a keyframe but now i'm going to go <clears throat> one step back because i wasn't on it i'm going to delete it make a new one because it was in the wrong place so just in the beginning and in the end of the clip and now we're going to drag it wrong one we're going to drag it all the way off the screen so we're going to drag it all the way minus until it's we can't see it there we go okay so now basically if we press play look what's happening as you can see this green bar is moving but what's actually happening is it's just on the bottom of the screen i'll show you it's just moving out from the screen okay so now you know how to put it on the bottom you can easily put it in the top as well if you wanted to you can move the whole thing to the top and it just moves on the top or on the bottom now let's make this into a corner okay so we're going to make another green green one over here as we already had a green one let's drag another green one onto the timeline okay as you can see we're getting already everything covered again now we want the same crop tool put it on and then now we want this to dissolve in the corner so we want to crop it from the right side to the left side to create the bar that goes up and down on the left side of the screen so we're going to back go back to fx controls we're going to go right and we did 97 percent i think no we didn't we did 98 percent that's it that's more like it was it 98 percent we had 97 percent but because it's a different length that way uh, we're gonna have to drag it a little bit more on this way. I would say we're still a little bit much on this here. Let's go 98.5. No, let's go 98.3. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, and now we're gonna go back to the beginning of the clip over here. So make sure that your top one is selected over here. We're gonna go to position and toggle animate. Let me see if I am in the beginning. Okay, that's the first frame over here. And then we're gonna click on position. Okay, make sure that it's over there. And then all the way to the end of the clip. That's Okay, this is the last frame over here. And we're gonna create another key frame over here. And now we're gonna move from up and down, okay? So we're gonna move it all the way down to Till you don't see it okay perfect and now when you press play as you can see these bars are actually moving okay we're gonna speed it up a little bit it's still moving and let's look at the end as well there we go I know it's a little bit odd in the end there's like a square and then it dissolves into that but that's how you can do it very very simply now you don't have to have these corners you can have just one bar on the top which i prefer i think the corners are a bit too much but in, if you're on instagram for example or on facebook then it's probably best to do the corners because the whole kind of screen moves and it's easy for people to watch things like that now if you follow this and want to make it into all the two corners so basically there's four bars going into the diagonal corners then you just follow exactly the same method that we did for this bottom corner move it into the top corner create another two layers and put them on the top something like that and then you'll end up with something like that Okay, and that's how simple it is to edit progress bars on your editing software. I'm sure there's other ways, but this is what I've found the simplest way. So there you go. Hope this was helpful for you. If you did like this video, hit that like button. It actually makes a difference. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you soon. I'll see you in the comment section below. If you want to chat about anything, I'll meet you down there. Adios.